Our today's topic is genetics of color blindness. Color blindness is the condition in which a person is unable to perceive the primary color such as blue, green and red. See here we have the eye and the innermost sensitive layer of eye is the retina which contains two types of cells, cone cells and rod cells. Rod cells are responsible for distinction between light and dark whereas the cone cells are responsible for the perception of colors. In the cone cells, special proteins, opsins are present for the perception of three primary colors, blue, green and red. If a person do not have opsins for the blue color, the condition is known as tritinopia. And the absence of green color opsins is called as deuteranopia and the absence of red opsins called as the protanopia in which person cannot perceive the red color or shades of the red. Genes for the blue opsin is present on chromosome number 7 and it is an autosomal trait whereas the genes for green and red opsins is present on X chromosome. That's why called as X-linked gene. As far as color perception is concerned, individuals are classified into three groups. They may be the trichromates. It is the condition in which an individual can perceive all three primary colors with the normal vision. It may be the dichromate when it can perceive two out of three primary colors or it may be the monochromate in which individual can perceive only one out of three primary colors such as it can perceive the blue color and blue cone monochromacy is the condition that is the X-linked. It means that it can perceive only the blue color and options for red and green absent or maybe the abnormal in blue cone monochromate individuals. Now we are going to discuss the inheritance patterns of color blindness. A female with the two normal genes on the X chromosome when marries to a male with the mutated gene on X chromosome for the color blindness in a pedigree analysis as you know a female is represented by a circle whereas a male is represented by a square and red color represents the disease or color blindness. The female produces a single type of egg and is the homogametic. The male produces two type of gametes, one containing the X chromosome and other containing the Y chromosome. When the egg and the sperm containing the X chromosome with the mutated gene fertilizes each other, a carrier daughter will be born. Carrier means it carries the gene for the color blindness, but this color blind gene does not express due to the presence of the normal gene on another X chromosome. All of their sons will have the normal color vision due to the presence of normal gene for color blindness on the X chromosome that they inherited from their mother. In pedigree, carrier individuals are represented with red dot in circle. If this carrier daughter marries to a normal individual, the normal male produces two types of gametes, one with the containing the X chromosome and other with the Y chromosome. As well as the carrier daughter also produces two types of gametes, one containing the X chromosome with the normal gene and other with the mutated gene. And their all daughters will have the normal color visions due to the X chromosome from their father containing the normal gene and 50% of their sons with the normal color visions and chances of 50% of their sons to be the color blind due to the presence of the mutated or color blind gene on their X chromosome which they inherited from their mother. In males color blindness is 50% more than that of the females because that a single gene present on the X chromosome expresses in the males because there is no counterpart on the Y chromosome. For a female to become a color blind, she must receive a copy of the mutated gene from her mother as well as from her father. This inheritance pattern is called as crisscross inheritance pattern. 
because the genes are transferred from maternal grandfather to the grandson through a carrier daughter. I hope it makes the sense. Thank you.